slash game on point. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I'm gonna be doing a video that has been getting so, so, so requested lately. And I'm really surprised that you guys actually even noticed a difference. A lot of you guys have been asking about my eyelashes and if I got eyelash extensions or did I do anything different? Did I put a growth serum on them or anything like that? Because they look extra long in my videos lately. And I just changed one thing and that is I added a second mascara into my everyday routine. So I figured that I would do a tutorial for you guys and since it is so simple and easy, I also decided to throw in how I do my winged eyeliner because a lot of you guys have been requesting that. I know in a lot of my tutorials, I kind of just speed up that part or I cut it out because it's actually very hard to get that on film because they have to be so up close to the mirror and it's hard to get the perfect angle from the camera and all of that. So anyway, I'm gonna show you guys in this video exactly how I do my eyeliner and how I do my mascara routine every single day. I always say that if I can only do three pieces of makeup in the morning, like if I was on a stranded island or if I wake up and I have like three minutes to get ready, the three things that I would absolutely do is number one, my foundation, number two, my eyeliner, and number three, my mascara, because I feel like my eyeliner and my mascara make such a huge difference in the way that I look. I will try to include a little bit of a before and after so you guys can see exactly what I'm talking about, but I feel like if I'm gonna spend the time on eyeshadow or if I'm gonna spend the time on eyeliner and mascara, I definitely would rather do the eyeliner and mascara. So anyway, before I start the video, I just wanna tell you guys exactly what I'm going to be using. So as far as eyeliner, I only like to use these little felt or brush tip pens. I don't like to use anything else. This makes it so, so easy and I have narrowed it down to my three top ultimate favorites. So the first one is this Jessie Girl, Jessie's Girl Eyeliner right here. The second one is the Ico Visual Eyes Liquid Liner. And the third one, which is the one that's the most easily accessible, you can find this at any drugstore. And this is probably, if I had to pick one out of the three, my very, very top favorite. This is the Physician's Formula Eye Booster. This one is a two-in-one lash boosting eyeliner and serum. It's supposed to help your lashes grow even more, but I did not buy it for that reason and to be honest with you guys I don't see a big difference in my eyelashes growing when I'm using this it is my favorite though just because it's so so easy to use they all have the same type of tip right here which is a little felt tip or a brush tip this one is actually a brush tip the Jessie's girl one is also a brush tip and the Ico one okay I sound like a dummy here because they're all brush tip excuse what I said about a felt tip. A brush tip is the way to go. It's kind of like a calligraphy style pen. So these are my three ultimate favorites. As far as the, I'm gonna put the cap on these again later and I hope that they do not get all over the place. <gasps> <sighs> As far as mascaras, like I already did mention, I am using two. The first one is my trusty favorite for so many years. This is the CoverGirl Lash Blast Volume in Very Black, the waterproof formula. And the second one is this L'Oreal Collagen Boosting Mascara in the shade also very black and also in the waterproof formula. A lot of you guys know that I only use waterproof because they are made with more wax in the formula, so they really do lock in a curl. One of these I like more for volume and the other one I like more for lengthening and for darkening my lashes, but I will talk about that a little bit more when I get into the tutorial. And everything else that I'm gonna be using, I will show you guys when I get to it. So. Did I forget anything else? I don't think so. Okay, so if you guys wanna see exactly how I do my liner and my lashes every single day, then just keep on watching. So let's get started. Now you can see that I have nothing on my eyes right now. I just have my face makeup on. So I feel like I look pretty naked right now. That is why I say that my eyeliner and my mascara basically make any look. So the first thing that I'm gonna start off by doing might sound a little bit weird that I am doing this first, but I'm going to be curling my eyelashes. And that's because when I put my eyeliner on first and then curl my lashes, half of the eyeliner will end up like on the inside of the curler. So I never like to do it that way. I always like to curl my lashes first and then apply my eyeliner on after that. So the curler that I'm using is this one right here and it is from Ico. I really don't do anything all that special. I actually think I do it the wrong way. I know a lot of people will clamp it at the bottom, then move it a little bit up, clamp it in the middle, move it a little bit up, clamp it at the end, but I actually like my lashes to look super, super curled. I don't care if I look surprised or whatever. I feel like when I clamp it one, and then two, and then three, it kind of crimps down the curl. 
if that makes any type of sense. Hopefully you guys know what I'm talking about. But you guys can see that I don't do anything all that special. I kind of just clamp it once. I hold it there for about five seconds. And then I do a whole bunch of little clamps. <laughs> I'm sorry, this is not the right terminology, but I'm just telling you guys what I do. I really don't do anything all that special. And I really don't care what curler I'm using. This is just the one that happened to be near me at the moment, but I don't think that it's any more fabulous than like the e.l.f. dollar one or anything like that. I don't feel like you really need to invest in an eyelash curler, but I do feel like it does make a big difference. You can use any eyelash curler, but just make sure that you are using one. So you could see there that my eyelashes are now awake and I feel like I look so much better already. So the next thing that I'm going to be doing is my eyeliner. Where are you? Okay, here it is. And this is the eyeliner that, again, just happens to be near me at the moment. And this is the Ico Visual Eyes Liquid Liner. I only like to use liners in this pen type of formula. I feel like it makes it so much easier, especially if I'm going to do my eyeliner every single day. I want something that's very quick and easy. So I think I'm going to try and zoom you guys in so you could really see this up close and personal okay guys and this is a little bit difficult to film because I do need to use two hands and I'm hoping that this hand right here is not gonna block you guys but I am NOT one of those people that can apply my eyeliner only using one hand I need this hand to kind of hold my skin a little bit taut it makes it a lot easier to draw a perfect line I know that a lot of people say that if you tug on your eyes you're causing wrinkles I have been wearing eyeliner since junior high school I've always done it this way and I don't have any problems you just want to make sure to be extra gentle with your skin especially the skin around your eyes so I'm going to take my left hand and I'm just going to hold my skin taut ever so slightly not that much at all and then I'm going to take my pen or my eyeliner pen and what I like to do is kind of hold it so that it is horizontal so I'm not really using the tip hold on I know you guys can't really see the inside here but hopefully when I get to the outer corner of my eye you guys will see better but as you can see I'm not using the tip of it like I was writing I'm kind of using it on its side horizontal like this so I like to start off with the line pretty thin I actually do like a thick um, eyeliner I feel like I have a lot of room on my lid so I do like it on the thicker side but I like to start off thin and I can always add on so as you guys can see there's really nothing all that special I'm basically just drawing a line and then I like to take a little line from where my two eyelids meet the bottom one and the top and then just flick it out from there and continue the line okay and from there some people like a very thin line like that and I would be done oh camera focus focus thank you but I do think that the line is a little bit crooked. I am a perfectionist when it comes to my eyeliner, so I will always come back and just make sure that it is as perfect as possible. You're never gonna get it 100% um, perfect, but I like to get close. So okay, I'm just going to go back now and thicken it up just a little bit because I do like an extra thick line. A lot of people will stop right there, but I'm just gonna thicken mine up a little bit more. Okay, and there is the final eyeliner. I think that the key to the way that I do my eyeliner is definitely holding the pen on the side. You want to use it horizontally. Don't use the tip. A lot of people try to draw it on with just the tip and it's basically impossible that way and it will take you forever. So that's all that I really do for my eyeliner. Next I'm going to move on to how I do my mascara. Okay, so I already told you guys about the two mascaras right here that I am using. Another weird thing about me is that I cannot apply my mascara with a far away mirror. So I need a handheld mirror like this one just so I can get up close and personal with my eye. And I always like to look down. If you look straight forward when you're putting your mascara on, your lashes are going to be a lot closer to your lid and you're going to tend to get a lot more on your lid than if you look down. I'm not promising that you're not going to get any on your lid because that's basically impossible, especially if you're someone like me, but I just feel that it helps a lot if I look down into my mirror instead of straight forward. So again, it's really simple. All I'm going to do is get a little handheld mirror, hold it 
towards like around my chin area and look down into it I'm gonna start off by using my covergirl lash blast and I find that this one gives me a lot of curl I have been using this one ever since junior high school I have not strayed away from it but I did find another mascara that it pairs very very well with this one is actually pretty dried out so it's not performing as well as it did, you know, when I first got it, but it still does the trick. And again, nothing special with my mascara either, except I like to wiggle it left and right. You just get a lot more product on your lashes when you do it that way. But I do a combination, I said that weird. I do a combination of wiggling left to right to get the product on, and then just your standard straight up swipes. This is the weirdest video ever. I'm using the weirdest words. So yeah, and I like to work pretty fast with this so that it doesn't dry 100%. So that is what we're working with. And then for the bottom, same thing, left and right, very simple and fast. And every single day I do pair two mascaras. It really doesn't take me any longer because normally I would do two coats of this mascara. So instead I'm just doing one coat and then one coat of the second mascara. Okay, so that is how my lashes look with just the CoverGirl Lash Blast. And I know I look so weird with nothing on this eye over here, but I kind of want you guys to see a before and after. So right after that, I'm gonna be using the L'Oreal Collagen Boost Mascara. And the reason that I really like this one is because it thickens my lashes a lot. I cannot open my mirror. And on top of thickening them, it really makes them look super dark black. So I really love that. And I don't know if I mentioned that both of these are waterproof. I wear waterproof mascara year round. And the reason for that is because, you know, even in the winter time it snows, there's rain and all of that. So I like my makeup to be pretty much budge proof and it's not a pain to remove it at night. I just use a little bit of baby oil, the tiniest, tiniest little dot of baby oil and it gets rid of all my eye makeup. So with this second mascara, what I like to do is really focus it on the tips of my lashes. If I put it from root to tip, it's gonna kind of weigh my lashes down. So I don't want to apply too much. All right, just like that. And sometimes I apply this onto my bottom lid, I mean onto my bottom lashes, and sometimes I don't. For this video, I will. Sometimes it can get a little bit clumpy if you apply too much, but I actually don't mind the clumpy look all that much. And then I focus the most on the outer lashes because I really like my lashes to kind of have like a butterfly effect where it's um, thicker and longer on the side corners. So just like that. And of course, I did not bring my brush with me. I have this little like metal spoolie that I comb through my lashes to get any of the clumps out. That's usually my last step. I don't do that while, they're, while they are wet. So the last thing that I'm gonna show you guys today is how I do, why is my camera not focusing? I think that when it's so up close, it doesn't focus very well, but hopefully you guys get the drift. So the last thing that I'm going to do is apply my eyeliner in my waterline and I have changed the way that I do this just because for every day during the daytime I don't really like to have really dark liner in my waterline. I like a little bit more of a natural look which I'm sure many of you guys have already realized. So what I'm going to be using is a Milani liquid eye. This is in the shade dark brown and I'm going to apply this so that it makes my eye kind of look more like a cat eye. And the way that you do that is you're just going to tight line your top waterline, just like the very, very outer corner of it, and then the bottom outer corner, just the very, very corner of it. And what this is going to do is give your eyes more of like an almond shape. It's going to elongate them and give them that cat eye. I love cat eyes, I feel like they are so sexy and this is like an understated way of lining your waterline. So what I'm going to do is just take my MAC, oh no this is my Sigma E30 pencil brush and I'm just going to blend that. Okay, and that is it. So hopefully you guys can see the major difference here. It is so important to do your eyeliner and your mascara. If you can only do three things, I definitely would say your foundation, your mascara, and your eyeliner. They are my staples for me. If I wake up in the morning and I have to be someplace and I can't do my whole makeup routine, those are the three things that I would definitely focus the most time on. And as you guys can see, it doesn't really take all that much time at all. So hopefully you guys can see, this is the finished eye right here and this is the naked eye. So I am going to go finish this side of my face and I will be right back.
All right, so I zoomed you guys all the way in so you could see the finished look right here. As you can see, my lashes look very full, very dark. It kind of looks like I have false lashes on and I get asked all the time if I'm wearing false lashes and I really think that it's just the makeup, the tools that I use and the time that I take to do them. I feel like anyone can achieve this look. I know that I do have very long lashes naturally, but I have done this on a lot of my friends and they have seen a major difference as well. So I will post everything down below in case you guys want to pick up any of the products that I use today and this is a little bit weird being so close. And yeah, that's it guys. Let me know if you have any requests down below. I think next I'm going to film an updated eyebrow routine because that has been requested a lot lately and I did change it up a little bit. Not all that much, but a little bit. So I think I will be coming up with that video pretty soon. And thank you guys all so much for watching. I will see you hopefully in my next video. Mwah. Bye.